can be a few quirks to be aware of. Here's a second equation. We have a plus 5 here. This must be seen as being a plus 5. I'll begin by subtracting 5 from both sides. So minus 3x is less than or equal to 7. I must then divide by minus 3. So x 7 over minus 3. But here's a quirk. When we divide by a negative, or times by a negative, we are reversing the direction of the equation. So this less than or equal to becomes a greater than or equal to. We have not quite finished. This looks a bit clumsy. We would tend to write it in the following way. x bigger than or equal to minus 7 over 3. And that would be the inequality solved. Now a third type of question you might be asked is where it asks you to write down all integers satisfying a particular set of inequalities. Now the 2x here means that first of all you must divide by 2 to get x greater than or equal to 2.5 but less than 20 divided by 2, 10. And integers means whole numbers. So I want all whole numbers greater than or equal to 2.5. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But I don't want to include 10. So I stop at 9. And they would be the set of numbers satisfying that particular inequality. And of course they are integers. Now, one final thing which they can ask is to represent inequalities on a number line. Fairly briefly to finish off, suppose you've got this as an answer. This means x could be bigger than or equal to 8. And if you were to draw a number line mark an 8 on there, then x could be anything bigger than 8. And we can include 8, so we put a solid dot above 8. A second example x less than minus 3 number line minus 3 x less than this way back dot 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 we cannot include minus 3 so we have an open circle above minus 3